And then who we got coming up? We got the the Bravos, the Braves in Atlanta. Um, I think we're bracing for impact right now, right? This is going to be a situation where uh, it's a three-game set, so it's like let's avoid the sweep if we can. That'd be fantastic. And then we got the Pirates, and it's like, you know, I don't know that the Pirates aren't exactly the Pirates that uh, were winning people over earlier on in the season. You know, they kind of righted the ship a little bit. They're at 31-27, half a game back of the Brewers, 6-4 and four in their last 10, and they've won five straight. So kind of a buzzsaw coming our way after Atlanta. But uh, maybe it's similar to what the Rays, that Rays series, where it's like the Rays were one of the hottest teams in baseball, and then we face them and we take two or three. We uh, take two or three. So baseball is friggin' weird, dude. Super weird. And then we got the Yankees, the Cardinals, Astros. So, I mean, like, you know, you win one, you lose one, you win one, you lose one. You know? Mm-hmm. I just let's try not to get swept back to back. That'd be fantastic. Uh, I guess see what the matchups are. Hmm. Oh, let's take a look here. So we got Cookie going against Bryce Elder. Oh boy! And as much as I uh, am a fan of Carlos Carrasco's renaissance, rejuvenation of Carlos Carrasco. He's going. We're, 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 our bats are going up against the guys three and zero with a sub two ERA and fifty six strikeouts. Yikes! So I'd have to pencil in a loss there. Mad Max goes up against Charlie Morton, who gives us fits a lot of the times. He's five and six already, which is kind of nuts. Um, leads me to believe that he goes deep into games. Three point six two ERA, seventy two strikeouts. Woof. Then we got Verlander against Spencer Strider. Uh, Strider again, another another pretty good option for the for the Braves. Six and two, two point nine seven ERA, one hundred and thirteen strikeouts. Ugh. And then uh, no word yet on who's going to start in Pittsburgh. But uh, woo, road trip time. Yikes, road trip time. And then we have the two games set against the Yankees. So by the time mid June rolls around and we and we host the Cardinals, yeah, it could it could get ugly pretty quick. <laughs> it could get very ugly. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, you know, I don't see Lindor slumping for much longer. I don't see Alonzo slumping for much longer. You know, uh I I don't know that Marte is really gonna turn things around to the level that he where he was playing in 2022 maybe canna starts to be starts to play a little bit more a little bit better a little bit more um you know i don't know that you know brett Beatty's cooled off uh mark vientos never really took off and francisco alvarez has, has cooled off so <sighs> tomas nito was dfa to make room for omar Nevarez. so that's a little bit of a i mean it sucks for nito not gonna lie, but he was officially like the worst hitter in our lineup, in our on our roster, and then Omar Narvaez was you know not exactly lighting the leaderboards up, but was one of our actually <laughs> when you look at it, and it was a small sample size, but one of our better hitters. So uh, maybe he provides a more consistent spark. You know, not exactly the fireworks that we have with Francisco Alvarez, but you know, a more steady presence that can at least. Uh, you know, move guys over, you know, I think that's been the, a big difference too for the Mets from 2023 to 2022 is like in 2022, we it seemed like we always scored a run in the first, you know, we always just get that lead to, to, we establish the lead first, we get the lead first. And it just feels like that was, uh, that was got us on the right path and, uh, led us to victory more times than not. And we haven't really done that in 2023. We just get behind a lot. We're playing from behind a lot. And so people want to blame, place the blame on this or that. You know, I saw a video from someone I follow on Twitter saying, it's not the pitching, it's the batting. And it's like, you can't, you can't make a blanket statement like that. One game, it is the pitching. One game, it is the the batting. Another game, it's the fielding. Another game, it's the bullpen. Like it's, you can't, there, there's not like one glaring problem area I think it's from game to game, it just kind of happens, you know? I wouldn't say the offense uh, struggled in that third game. You know, I'd like to see us do better against Jose Barrios, but, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. 
we got a lot of time, a lot of game left, a lot of season left. And it's not, it's not pitching or batting. It's just, let's find a rhythm. Let's get in a rhythm. Let's stay there. Let's get, find some consistency. That's what it is. Day in and out, day in, day out consistency. You know, I, I hate that uh, Lindor or Alonzo might feel this added pressure because the rest of the lineup is kind of letting them down, right? I, 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 I would hope that's not the mindset when they step into the batter's box. It's like, oh, I got to win this. It's up to me to win this. And I doubt it is. But they, they might be subconsciously pressing more than they need to be because they understand that they're not getting the kind of support that they did last year. You can't tell me that, I mean, everyone is playing below what they played. Everyone, not everyone, but like the guys that, I mean, it truly is a team sport, dude. <laughs> it really is. You know, uh, Marte probably hurt playing through injury. Canna, not the same as he was last year. Uh, you know, Eduardo Escobar, obviously better in a part-time role-playing pinch hitting position. Platooning with Beatty and McNeil. Just not slugging the ball, getting these nice singles, slapping the ball here and there. But my God, doubles. Two doubles is a run. Two singles is a guy in first and second. I, you hate to oversimplify things like that, but you got to slug the ball. And it doesn't always have to be home runs. Let's get some more doubles. Hits the gap. So nice to see Vogie get a double on Sunday. Like, where has that been? Where is it? Where has, I mean, McNeil, they were pointing out today, like McNeil's slugging percentage is lower than his on base percentage. You know, we just have guys that the OPS for us is just really bad. You know, Marte is below 700, I think. Like Lindor is hovering around 700. Like I think Alonzo's our highest at eight something. So what, what has been frustrating is in 2022, Guy gets a single, steals second, is moved over to third, sack fly to run. In 2023, guy gets a single, steals second, uh, strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. <laughs> you know, it's just like, do you also have to do the simple things. Like, just don't strike out. And that's what we're talking about. Like, put the ball in play. The little things. Move the guy over. You're just not seeing that in this in this season. Like, the, you know, it's... It, it, Sounds so simple, but it's harder to, to put into practice. And I think that's been the major difference between 2022 and 2023. Pitching aside, right? I still think that uh, we've seen, I think we've seen the worst of the worst from the starting rotation in the bullpen. I really do. I mean, you're going to see bad games here and there, but I don't think it's going to be as bad as it's been in the first 60. You can already see that guys are starting to settle in and settle down, I think. It's the it's the bad the offense that just needs to uh, s simplify things. See ball, hit ball, put it in play. I think Mets. I think Mets fans would rather see us get like no hit and put the ball and have zero strikeouts and put the ball in play <laughs> than than striking out nine ten times a game. And coming up with a run. It's just like, it's just frustrating seeing all these guys. Some guys not taking hacks at all. Some guys just missing by so much, you know? And I, I think that's what is so concerning for a lot of fans is like, you shouldn't be striking out this much this far into the season, I don't think. Like one through nine striking out this much um, or one through eight, one through seven. So put the ball in play. See the ball, hit the ball. Just like the pitchers. Remember, you know, we're talking about the pitchers, like find the strike zone, you know? And I, I know McGill was getting squeezed a lot over in that series against the Blue Jays which was rough. I mean, the umpire sucked. Um, and th that's going to happen from time to time. But like, find the strike zone. Again, strikeouts are cool and they're sexy. But if you can just get a guy to hit it into play, we have a pretty decent defense. Let let them do their thing. Whew. But fire Buck, what are you, nuts? Yes, he's made some questionable moves this year, more so than he did last year. But I still believe him. I still believe in this team. And that's the Mets.